We all know how much a local theater means to its community, and after being closed for 18 months, the Bedford Playhouse is finally reopened. So today, we're checking it out. I've been in here for a little bit, and I could tell that this is a lot more than just a theater. So I, I would love for you to explain to anybody who's never been here, how would you explain the Bedford Playhouse? We really are the destination for Lower Hudson Valley. It's entertainment, education programming. It's also community programming. You know, we're trying to serve as many people as we possibly can. You can come here any night of the week and see something completely different. I want to hear about the history of this place. And like, even I see where we're standing, and I know that these are the original floors. I know that this is the original box office. I mean, yeah. this is definitely a theater with a lot of history. So Bedford Playhouse uh, was originally opened in 1947 as a single screen movie house. Eventually it was shut down. I believe 2015 was, was shut down. The Friends of Bedford Playhouse formed, formed a nonprofit organization to save the Playhouse. And they came in and uh, raised $6.5 million for the actual renovation of the facility. And uh, then that's what we, what we have today. First of all, it is so beautiful in here. Tell me about this piano. So this piano was donated by uh, Paul and Kathy Schaefer. And uh, this is the actual piano from Late Night with David Letterman. Let's mm -hmm. just say somebody's here on any given day. Mm -hmm. Can you name drop a couple of the people who they might find here? Of course, John Krasinski and Emily Blunt are residents of the area. Uh, Ryan Reynolds lives in the area. And Michael Douglas and Catherine Zeta-Jones used to have a house here in Bedford, so uh, you would see them as well. Listen, Bedford's the place to be. <laughs> so this is our smallest space. The recliners come out and we have uh, dinner tables to come in, so you can do dinner and a movie. I know in addition to everything that you're doing, you also have vaxxed screenings. I saw that on the website, mm -hmm. so tell me more about that. We can have 100% capacity. No masks, no no issues within the within the theater. So we've decided to do a few of those throughout uh, throughout the run of each movie. This theater is the Clive, uh, the Clive after Mr. which Davis. is after Mr. Davis, of course. We also do uh, some of our smaller uh, talkbacks and Q and A's in this room. So yeah. this is our main theater. First run films, classic films, anything that we would do. Uh, that's a larger scale would be into the in this space. We also do uh, music performances on the stage. We do comedy nights. So it really is a, a, a broad range of programming. We have our brand new Broadway and Bedford series right over here on the Playhouse lawn. This is something new this year. You guys never did Broadway in Bedford before. Brand new, brand new. This year we decided to to bring in Broadway stars. Music directed by Dan Mitchell uh, from Wicked. We've got four Broadway stars coming in every single uh, every single step of the series. With Broadway opening up in September, this is a great preview for that because we have all of those people coming up from New York to sing for the Bedford community. Hoagie, it has been a pleasure. Thank you I, so I, much. I don't know if you're going to be able to get rid of me. I'm going to be back. <laughs> <laughs>